A tempo storm using all the different parts of the buildings. We saw FaZe trying to use that little bit of a lip to make the push back up. And that's what you got to do whenever you play on Miramar. But here we go. We're moving into our last round of the day. It's going to be Miramar, and we're headed up. Plain Path's going to start right over Puerto Periso and going to end up right over there next to actually Trailer Park we were talking about beforehand. It's time to get on it. Last game of the day. You want to carry over into tomorrow with some momentum. So a big round here for a lot of these teams. I've really got my eye on teams like Tempo Storm and especially WClick and GEX. They are the True. sole survivors from their regions to make it to the finals. They're the bottom two teams. They really need to start turning it around here. This is whenever some of these teams might start playing a little bit more dangerous, trying to go for early aggression. They've seen it be rewarded. Some of these teams, that's their whole style to play, and they're constantly watching this going, okay, maybe it's time to stop playing for the position. Let's just play for a fight. See if we can just win it, get a couple of points based off of that. But really, it's just about separation right now. Can some of these teams get the control points that they want? Because as the Biden desk was alluding to, and get we're the jumping flush. That is going to back Terry Poppins off, and he gets some damage, but he's going to back Esther off with some shots of his own. Takes a lot of damage, though, when he's just trying to hide this out, trying to get a little bit more meds off. Meanwhile, the push is coming around. Los is trying to feed information while he's down. Loki's going to make the push over towards this. Is the spray going to come through? And nope, that's going to be the Rumblers going down in 10th. Gen.G now up to three kills. All right, this is a gut check moment for Gen.G. You lost your superstar in PO. He has showed up big here for them today. Can the surviving three members get it done? Taming has had a great day for himself as well. He had over eight eight kills the last time I saw. We'll see if they can get some more as Navi is putting the hurt onto 4AM and Wayless. They want to blockade this Chinese team. We talk about all these rotations and different angles and the way people play, and then there's 4AM that's just walking into the circle and just taking every single fight that they can find. Up in front of them, it's going to have Navi. Right next to Navi is going to be TSM, but back behind this, GEX might make a push along a similar path for it. So now 4AM finding themselves on the outside of this, going to have to fight their way through several teams to make it to this next safe zone. Yeah, this could be a hill too far to climb for 4 a.m. This one looks a little bit more difficult for them. VC has two members up there on the backside of Gen G there. Here come the shots from 4 a.m. Putting some damage into a doozy. Grenades coming out. That is going to back off way less. But now it is just him left. Now walking back over towards Sydney. It does get him down. Going to continue around on this once to go for another point, but realizes, okay, let's go ahead. Show a little bit control, try to find the angle, see how Navi reacts to this. See if he maybe can step up back over towards it. He's got the tools to work with. Remember, we did see them get that crate earlier. Now, Navi's trying to figure out, okay, where's the aggression coming from? Where are we going to see the push happen at? And this is distracting him quite a bit. There's TSM on the outside, and it's TSM now taking the shots back over towards GEX. You see their vehicle rolling off into the distance. Leo's trying to make it away, but that's two members down for GEX right now. Just one up, I think, on the outside of this. All right, that will be two down confirmed. TSM is also getting in on the fight with Navi. Gustav gets a doozy over there, so really nicely done by TSM holding down this compound. Here come the, the grenades. Now that one just a bit too far. A doozy is still alive for now. Another one coming up and over for Gustav. That one also bounces just a bit too far. Meanwhile, we did see that GX does get eliminated off of it. Wayless is looking back over towards TSM now. A little bit of shots go back and forth between them. I mean, the push coming out from VC right back up behind Jin G right now. I don't think that Taman oh, knows no. that this is here. He's looking back on the other side. The shot that come out from Domu. That's one that's down and flush. taman has got to be so cautious off of this. Instead, turns it back around. Goes for the shots onto it, but he's very vulnerable from the backside of this. There's another team that could have an angle for it. Yeah, if somebody sees him, and in fact, you can see a lot of people are shooting at Taman right now. He is out in the open trying to find any cover he can. Now, VC did have to back off a little bit. They're going to start pushing up and over this hill. Taming, is he going to get that heal off? Yes, the smoke is there to block the view from members of VC. There's just nowhere to go right now, and you can see it's starting to get really messy as Navi's finding themselves still with just one up right now. Wayless does go down. That's going to be four angry men going out in eighth. Grenades are raining down next to Navi's sole member up that's just trying to crawl towards safety. TSM is just holding the line up on top of him, and it's just making a mini red zone off on that angle. And this is the TSM oh. that we saw in the semis. A great grenade from Iroh is going to find Bestelach, and Navi is down in seventh. TSM sitting at seven kills now. VC looking back over towards Gen G, trying to find some type of path, some type of angle off of it. Everybody's playing back over towards the edge, except for Looks like we've got Genesis posted up as well as Ace, and the circle is going to move back over, favor Genesis. So it's going to be a lot of these teams playing off on the edge. Now we'll have to figure out 
How do they make their way into the new zone? What's the safest angle? And where do we have teams hiding? As there's so many people split out, hiding in just little dips right now. An important moment for Ace. Can they gatekeep the southern part of this circle? They have a very difficult team behind them being put. FaZe Clan. Gustav gets some damage taken from K-Mine there. That's going to back him off. Some other members. He's going to be using that first aid kit. Genesis pretty well clumped up in there. So if a good grenade could come through, you might be able to bust them up a little bit. So Genesis has control over the complex that's inside the safe zone, but TSM is really eyeing it. If we see a grenade hit through one of those windows, maybe just a nice shot, that might be the opening where we see TSM get a little bit more aggressive with it. Meanwhile, this peak battle still going on between Gen G, and it's going to be VC on the other side of it. it. Looks like VC is starting to find themselves in a negative position. Loki takes a lot of damage, moves back over towards the rock that everybody seems just to be hiding around right now, and VC is just trying to retreat away from this. Oh, that grenade just bounces too far over Loki's head. Loki's going to continue to heal up. Let's keep in mind that Tide does have that AWM in his hands. I want to see if he can get anything going with that. Now Alfaka looking over to Loki and Taming as well. So Gen G trying to find some way into this circle. There isn't a lot of space for them to work with. Now they're walking back down along Ace's sight lines. They still have about another 150 meters to go. BC has separated out, made their way back over towards the north, overseeing what's going on with this TSM and Genesis fight right now, as it looks like TSM is starting to get more and more control over that area, turning up everything for TSM right now, as I believe there's just one member up and alive for Genesis off on this, but it's going to be FaZe that takes a shot from back behind TSM. FaZe made a huge rotation over to the east, and now they're catching both of these teams off guard. A lot of damage being done. Fantastic movement here by FaZe to catch the backside and finish off TSM. TSM goes down in fifth with 10 kills right now, but you can see FaZe is starting to be on the hunt. Push back down on this angle. There is a ton of utility. You can grab anything you want. There's so many crates right off in that position. Meanwhile, Gen G still alive, slowly creeping up right next to where Ace is at. You can see Joy is down. Ace is only sitting at two kills at this point, but somehow Gen G just keeps creeping up right next to them. Wow, Taming is going to get another knock, so that's two knocked here for Entis Ace. He doesn't have a lot of health, and a good grenade from Rang is going to back him off and sit him down. Here comes Entis Ace looking up and over Loki now. The only one standing for Gen G, but there's only four teams left, so at least a fourth place finish for them. Ace is separated out. They have two members out in different points. Looks like they might be thinking about going for the res back over towards Joy. With this reposition, you can see that Mickey fairly close towards the center of the circle. FaZe has complete control over the eastern part. New circle's going to pop. It is going to favor FaZe's position right now. VC in their rotation does manage to have a little bit of a foothold inside the safe zone. But really, it's about how are we going to see Jin G and Ace reposition into what could be a very dangerous position for both of these teams. Yeah, they're going to have to try to stay below this hill. You can see Mickey looked up there, saw FaZe, and knew that he doesn't have a great angle. He's already in the circle at least. He's got to be careful of VC. But it looks like for now, it's going to be FaZe and VC trading some shots while Loki just tries to wait this one out until Joy gets in a vehicle, gets some damage onto him. AC now looking over at some nice shooting with the mini. He's going to find DJ Boy. You can see FaZe is starting to get a lot of control over their sight lines. Mickey went down inside of this. Loki is just playing in a dip right now, praying the fact that Ace doesn't push along this line. He still needs to make a way back over towards Safe Zone, trying to get the spray back over towards Ace. A couple of shots are going to connect, but it's going to be retaliation shots coming out from Rang on the other side. It's, they left him behind to try to provide a little bit more cover for the teammates. So I love the position coming out of it. They're in a very weak position, but now nobody can protect Rang, and he doesn't need it as he manages to make his way over. Loki is being such a thorn in the side of Entis Ace right now. Mickey is still down. The smokes are coming out as they want to get their fallen teammate back up and running for them. Loki is going to use his bandages. He only has one first aid kit left as well. No body armor and a beat up helmet. So somebody gets a few shots into him. He's trying to find something, but it is going to be Mexi from FaZe that finishes him off. Eight kills so far for FaZe. FaZe has control of the sight lines right now. They can kind of dictate how everything moves inside of this, but they have to be very, very cautious as they make these pushes on the side of it. If they go down in a very awkward position that could open the door for these other teams. You can see Ace still just trying to use that little bit of a dip, try to move through this, try to break sightline away from FaZe, but that could open the door back up behind them for either grenades or VC to take the shots. The grenades are going to end up just a little bit too short. They're just impacting Whoa! right front, but that one is good. 8Z is going to find both members of Entis Ace. Now
out up to 10 kills. FaZe is making their way down the hillside. You can see shots come back over towards VC. Tide has to drop to his belly. Uba is just running across a field without any cover. No fear in the world. He knows his teammates are going to protect him, and they want control over this game, and they know exactly where VC is at. All right, can Tide provide a miracle here with that AWM? He's got Domu as well for support, but Grenade. the grenades are raiding in. FaZe has a ton of utility. Domu is down. It is just tied left here. This is FaZe just running right up into the face of BC and taking this game away. 12 kills coming up for FaZe. FaZe Clan showing up huge here in the end. They find ways to get it done. It looked dire once again for them to start. And they find some magic here at the end. Somehow, some